Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can use the joins inside the Laravel. So this is basically possible with the query builder. So these are some points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will learn that what is the joins and how we can use it with the query builder uh, in a basic theoretical form. Then we will write a code for join. Then we will write the code of join with the where condition and check the output simply. All right. So before just going to start with the code, I'm just going to show you the database structure. I am the YouTube database, this, which is configured by with the Laravel. And if you don't know how we can configure the uh, MySQL Laravel with the uh, MySQL and Laravel, then you can watch our previous video link is also given in the description box. So here I have the user company uh, and I have three datas here. Uh, and this ID is associated with the uh, user ID inside the company table all right so as you know the joins uh, that will simply get the data from two table uh, with the behalf of one key uh, and we are just doing the same thing all right so now let's uh, start with the code so we are just going to uh, write the code here all right and if we are just uh, if, if we want to use the query builder then we have to use the DB uh, use uh, namespace so I'm just going to import it first of all so and just right here uh, so it's it's a uh, eliminate support and facet and DB all right so now we can use this db class so i'm just going to take a variable with the users and db colon table and with the table here i'm just going to put the table name in which i just want to get the data which is users and now uh, I'm just going to use the join function and in this join function first the, uh, we have to take a three parameters one for the table name where we want to apply the join so it's in company and as the second parameter I have to use the uh, associated uh, table ID table column name so the uh, previous table name is uh, user dot ID will be the second parameter because this is related to the ID and at the last you can use the company dot user underscore ID all right and if you don't know uh, understand it let's uh, clear it with the database so user dot ID is associated with the company dot user ID here all right so that's why I just write here at the second parameter user dot ID and a third parameter with the company dot uh, user underscore id okay and at the last we just have to use the get function to get the data and uh, you can just simply print here dollar users and let's check the output so for the check the output i have to go on the db routes so here you can see that we got the two data here and the two data is associated id one and two with the company table or uh, with a user to company table okay so let's say you just want to put some where condition then how you can put that for that you just have to use the we have function and inside the where function just put the two parameter one is the column name so my column name is user dot name right and second is Bruce so we want to get the data which is related only to the Bruce so we have uh, only one column with the name with the Bruce so it should be shown here only one column so we got here one column here and the same thing you can uh, apply on the another so let's say you want to apply the condition on the another table with the name of uh, Samsung all right so for that you can just write here company dot name the Samsung now you will get the data related to the Samsung all right so let's say you just want to some selected columns here then you can just simply put here select function and inside here you can write here let's say company dot name 
and a user dot email and now let's see the result now you can see that we got the only two things here the samsung and the uh, email address uh, name and the email address and if you just simply need it inside the json format just then you can put simply return here and you got the data inside the uh, json format so this is all about the joins with the laravel query builders if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video